Hey, Sneakily House, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Yes, you are in my house. Today we've got Bionic Dog 64 bit. Now, this is running live from the USB, okay, but it is installable either a frugal or a full desktop install. Now, it's a puppy, but it's not. It's originally based on Debian Dog, so it's a Debian base. It's not real, real puppy stuff, but hey, who cares? It's different. Go and give it a try because it does run really, really, really nice. So you get small icons up here, just for a nice little bar. You can have Cairo Dock if you want to, etc, etc. But we'll go through all that in a second. Conky is over here on the side. As you can see, use normal CPUs, all my memory, lovely jubbly, super duper. Right, I'm using simple screen recorder to record this. I just downloaded it and well, actually I installed the PPA, it was so much easier. And it's working just super duper fine, even in Elsa. So, what do we do and what do we get? Okay, up the top here. Our tint to icons info. We get Wii X. That's AV and X11 recorder. Now, I've used this before. I've not really liked it too much. So that's why I'm using a simple screen recorder. To install your packages, what do you get? Well, Synaptic Package Manager. That's what you get. I'll make it nice and large for you. Install what you would like. Okay, We'll come back to that in a minute. Next, we get the Rox Terminal. If you want to log in, the login is root. Password is puppy, by the way. But as I'm running as root anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay, moving on. It's our file manager. It's all there for you. A nice file manager to do the business. Okay, super duper. Next, I hear you cry. MT Paint is on the top. A text editor, which is, is that Genie? Let's have a look. What is it? Oh, no, it's Leafpad. Okay. I should have known that really, shouldn't I? Right, next we have the GTK YouTube Viewer. So, if you want to say, search for me. So, if I put me in. Should in theory come up with my stuff, yeah, from the very beginning, yeah. Well, actually, I've got some before then, but there we go. Hmm. And you can play them, and it plays them just fine. Okay. You can even choose the resolution you want to play them in. So that's a nice little addition. You think? Well, I did anyway. Okay. Next, we get Dog Radio. Woof woof. Okay. Right. It seems to be all classical, but obviously you can add and remove whatever you like. So I'm going to add and remove. You can just find one and add one, okay? Super duper, cancel. I'm not going to play it because I don't really want to, to be honest with you. Next, our desktop manager. We can choose what you want. So we can have the Cairo dock, the pinboard, rocks pulled, and Cairo dock, tint two panels, PC man FM, and LX panel. Whatever you want, okay? Cancel. Next little line is the Barnick dog installer. Now you can do a full install or a frugal, entirely up to you. You can create a save file if you didn't even want to do that. Just to coggle your conky over there, toggle on, toggle off, toggle on. Next is your browser, which by choice is Firefox. Yes, full screen, and it works rather nice. Now, if I go to the Bibaker, nice and fast, see? Lovely jubbly, yes, it's the wedding tomorrow, yeah, 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 yeah. We won't go into that, but it all works super fine and dandy. I can't really fault it, to be honest with you, for the size of the download. It's tiny, 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 tiny thing. But for your menu down here, you can go to the menu if you wanted to, just like that. Or like we all do in the old school, you can go like that, okay, with your open box menu. So you've got the file manager, terminal, web browser, yeah, 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 we've done all that. Oh, set wallpaper, I didn't do that, did I? So you click here, you get quite a few wallpapers to choose from, whatever you want to do, really, okay? So that's enough of that. Back to applications that we can't see on the desktop. Now, being a pup, it normally comes with lots of stuff, okay? Okay, a sudo pup, we'll call it, okay? Not a real pup. Add no user, remove user, etc. So you can use it as a multi-user machine, which is quite good for a pup, okay? Desktop editor, edit SFSs, your graphical disk management, install Debian dependencies, leaf pad, parcel, I can go on. Oh, Redshift GUI is on here as well for that in late night sessions. Under development, Genie. Graphics, right, you don't get too many. Animated just for desktops, etc. MT Paint, we've seen that already. PZ Glue for joining your images. And Text SVG, PNG, Fancy Text and Logo Generator, which is really nice to use actually. Might do that once I've installed it. And View Noir. Oh, God, it's a lot here, isn't it? So, as I said, Dog Radio, Elsa, etc. Double F Convert, it's super. PZ Burn, PZ Player, PZ DVD Player, Carousel MP3 Player. M player simple screen recorder which I installed with Wii X YouTube Radio blah, 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 blah. module tools I won't go into them for you unless you know what pup is 
network, Firefox, Flash Player of Choice, Transmission, and Office. You only get Abbey Word. And God, oh no, I don't like the theme. I need to do something about that, really. And it's 302, though. That's okay. And it works. What more can you ask? Okay, applications again. We'll go to other. We can clear changes at reboot and toggle composite desktop. Under settings, all the open box stuff is there. It's super. Under system. Wow, look at all this stuff. But so it is actually repeated in different parts of the menu, as you can see. Oh, we can also upgrade the kernel. But, uh, hmm. I know somebody had trouble with that a while ago. So I wouldn't say do that straight away. And audio repeated, as you can see. So obviously it's not got too much graphic stuff. So you know what this is, it's synaptic. We're going to go and search for Gimpage. So go to Gimp. It will find it for us somewhere along the line anyway. And there's Gimp, okay. We'll click on Gimp for Mark for installation. Mark and apply. It will download for us. It wants, ooh, only 27. That's okay, 27 megs, fine. It shoots along, super duper. Zzzm. And will start installing for us. See, it's really, really nice and fast to use. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to install this on the drive I'm trying to kill, so I can kill it with this one, and use it for a bit as a proper desktop, okay? So that's all done. We're all installed. So if I go here, right click, and go to applications again, and graphics, GIMP should be there. And there he is. He loads up nice and fast, doesn't he? That's super. I'm liking it. Lovely. What more can you ask? So, Bionic Dog, this is the last on the USB, by the way. It will be even faster if you do install it on an SSD on your system. It will just whoosh along the top. Oh, yeah. That's just a quick look at it for you. I'm liking Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.